Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range. In this video, I'm probably going to embarrass myself, but how would you know the difference from any other video? Anyway, yes, I have been known on occasion to shoot vaguely accurately, and I can film, you just point a camera and press a button. However, all attempts so far to shoot accurately while filming myself have been kind of epic failures. Anyway, I shall try my best for you. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing today is looking at why revolver barrels point downwards and how the uh, projectile weight influences the point of aim. So, first of all, we have my uh, trusty, slightly mystery uh, Smith & Wesson M&P. Now, if you draw a line the rear sight to the front sight, and I'm trying to hold it level with the bottom of the backstop. So if I hold it about there, you'll see the barrel actually points downwards somewhat. If I put this on the table, you should be able to see it even more. You can see that the sight line to the, to the uh, barrel line, there's quite a massive difference. And with the gun upside down, that barrel is pointing up quite significantly. Now what's actually happening here is that when you line the sights up on the target, the barrel is pointing down quite a lot. And when you fire, the first thing that happens as the bullet starts to accelerate down is the muzzle flip starts and the muzzle rises, hopefully pointing in the right direction when the bullet leaves it. Now with different bullet weights and different velocities, obviously that bullet is going to leave at a different angle. And you hope that it's at the right angle to correspond with what the sights are set for. Now this one's a bit of a mystery because I actually have no idea what it's set for. It corresponds to nothing I've put down it except a special load I made up, which is 200 grains doing all of 400 feet per second. I mean, this is air gun velocities here. So, of course, being block on the range, we're gonna show how this impacts on target, pun intended. So yeah, so uh, this revolver's in 38 Smith & Wesson, and what we've got on the left here is some home loads, 200 grain full house loads, doing just shy of 600 feet per second. And this corresponds more or less to the original British 380 200 load. What we've got here is some standard Winchester factory 145 grainers. And here we have a very interesting type of ammunition, 38 CBC special short. Now this is what Magtech calls basically Nitro 38 short cult. And uh, this goes a little bit faster than that, but for those who do IPSC or plates or whatever, they have about the same power factor. So these go a little bit faster and they're a little bit lighter. They're 125 grain. So what I'm gonna do is taking my time, so this will probably be in a speedy vision, I'm going to fire five of each, one-handed at 25 meters, a proper target shooting distance, with a camera down there to record the fall of shot. So, uh, be patient with me. First up, 200 grainers. Right, next up, 145. And finally, the 125s. I'm not sure these are gonna go too far away from 145s. So let's go and see the damage on target. So what's happening here is that the 200 grain bullets are recoiling quite a bit more and they're not going particularly fast. So the muzzle is pointing up quite a lot by the time they leave. 
Now the other ones, you can definitely feel the difference in the recoil. The 200 grainers are quite a bit heavier and a uh, combination of less recoil and at least in the case of the 125 grainers, they're coming out quicker. So the, 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 the muzzle of the pistol hasn't risen quite so much before they leave. So as a result of this, you can end up with a massive difference in the point, mean point of impact. I mean, here we've got eight, 10 inches if we take it down there. If we treat that as an outlier, then it's up, up there a bit. But this is um, entirely normal. And of course, none of it, aside from a couple of outliers, are anywhere near where the sights were pointed, because of course I was aiming right here. So I hope you enjoyed the video, or at least found it vaguely interesting. Many thanks go out to Action Sport Landolt near Interlaken in Switzerland for the use of their range. And if you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and please consider supporting us on Patreon so that we can keep bringing you content like this and can keep improving the channel. Bye.